Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Matthew Bullock. It is a cold night in North Carolina. Check out the temperatures across the state. 20 in Raleigh, 17 in Rocky Mountain, 24 in Fayetteville. It is so cold out right now. Check out the WRL Yellow Fountain right now. It is completely frozen over. But the bigger story besides just being cold is that we could see snow showers. Now, we do have a low pressure system forming in the next 24 hours, but depending where it forms will dictate whether we see snow or not tomorrow. Now, I'll give you three scenarios, the least likely scenarios where we don't see snow at all. The low pressure system just moves way far off the coast. We don't see anything. Now, the most likely scenario is where the low pressure system clips the Carolinas and the eastern part of North Carolina will see one to two inches of snow. Now, the worst case scenario is where the low pressure system moves a little bit closer inward and we do see widespread showers of snow. But this is highly unlikely, about 10% chance of this could ever happen. Now, the future cast shows the low pressure system clipping us, and we could see snow showers in Raleigh around 5 to 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now, we do have winter weather advisories across the state in Goldsboro and Fayetteville. We could see 1 to 3 inches are possible. And we do have winter storm warnings along the coast of North Carolina, stretching from New Bern all the way down to Wilmington. They could see 2 to 4 inches of snow, but mostly ice, too. Now, tonight's forecast. The clouds will roll in late tonight with uh, temperatures in the mid-teens. Tomorrow's forecast, we will see temperatures in the mid-30s with late snow showers in the afternoon. Now, once that low pressure system has moved off, we will see some clear skies. And to start off the next week, we could see a quick relief of cold weather. Good afternoon, Raleigh. I'm meteorologist Matthew Bullock. With your evening weather, I hope everyone's enjoying the sunshine today because guess what? It's gone by tomorrow. Take a look for yourself. We have the clouds rolling in at RDU Airport in the background. And this is the visible satellite. This kind of tells you the cloud coverage across the state. As you can see, we have lots of clouds coming in from our west that's moving easterly. We could see some scattered showers tomorrow afternoon. But on the radar, we have a couple showers in Kinston, North Carolina. Other than that, it's pretty clear across the state. Now let's look at the bigger picture across the state. Some showers in the southeast. We do have some severe weather in the Great Plains in southern Nebraska and northern Kansas, but we'll keep an eye on that. But Tropical Storm Franklin is now dissipated, and the next 48 hours is going to be completely gone, which is good news for Mexico. But we do have, an, we have this one storm that we're kind of concerned with. It has a 40% chance of strengthening, and the track of the storm, well, it could hit the Carolinas in the next five days, but we'll keep an eye on that. But tomorrow's forecast, we could see some scattered showers in the afternoon with temperatures in the mid 80s. Now the timing when the showers will come, here's your future casts. In the morning we could see some small pop-up showers and then by the afternoon there's lots of scattered showers widespread across the state. Now your weekend forecast, it does show a wet weekend, but don't worry, it's not going to rain the whole day. It's only going to rain maybe about an hour the whole day. So don't cancel your plans, it's only for an hour.